Basel, dear viewers of Tele Basel, is an important center for music. Classical music, jazz, youth choirs festival and so on. But not only our city, but also our region plays an important role and this on a very high quality. Let me focus today on a very special and wonderful category. In a common classroom, we attend a singing lesson of the Chœur de Garçon de Mulhouse, the boys' choir of Mulhouse. Its president, the young and active Nicolas Bréchon Cornery, explains us the simple reason for being in this school building. The collaboration with the John 23rd School, where we practice with our choirs, helps us to find new members. So these boys come and join these intensive weekly practices for many years already directed by Jean-Michel Schmitt, who carefully cultivates the great tradition of boys' choirs in France. En France, il y a de moins en moins de chœurs de garçons. Nous sommes à peu près... The number of boys' choirs decreased permanently in France. About a dozen remain, including ours here in Mulhouse. There are some in Lyon, Bordeaux, Colmar. Today, most of the choirs are mixed, but we set a high value on the tradition of the pure boys' choirs. Tous, tous les chœurs sont formés de voix de, de garçons et de filles, mais nous tenons à, à prolonger, à perpétuer la tradition, à n'avoir que des garçons. observe the enthusiasm of these young singers, an enthusiasm for singing, but also for forming long-lasting friendships, for excursions, tours, and many common trips to every corner of the Alsace and of France, and even much further away. Chaque année ou tous les deux ans, nous faisons un grand voyage. Every one or two years, we go on a big trip. The furthest took us to China, to Shanghai and Beijing. In Russia, we went to St. Petersburg. We have also been in Canada, Montreal, and of course in many countries of Central and Eastern Europe. À Montréal, entre autres, nous étions en Guadeloupe et puis dans beaucoup de pays d'Europe centrale, d'Europe de l'Est. We visit a concert of the choir from Mulhouse in the old church of the town of Ferrette in the Alsace, for the benefit of the charity Caritas in France.
after the concert, as usual in the Alsace, everybody meets for a verre de l'amitié, a glass of friendship, and a traditional Kugelhopf cake. And we may look upon these young artists as likable rascals who may well remain in touch with their singing, music and their roots, perhaps for the rest of their lives. Yes, I'm from Milouze and I'm a member of the choir since I was nine years old. First as an alto and after the change of voice as a basso. My three boys have been at the choir as well. Now they live their own adult life, but I am still a member of the choir and I'm 56 years old. This choir was founded as a Manicanterie à la Croix des Bennes, the choir of the Ebony Cross, remembering the work of French missionaries in Black Africa. Indeed, the choir is mainly in the service of the church and therefore also member of the International Union of the Pueri Cantores. a été créé en 1954 par Monseigneur Maillet, l'abbé qui a dirigé pendant de nombreuses This was founded in 1954 by Monseigneur Maillet, for a long time conductor of the Petit Chanteur à la Croix de Bois. Today, the National Federation includes about 100 choirs and 3,000 singers in France. On the worldwide level, Puerri Cantores consists in 10,000 of boys in 25 countries. 25 pays qui font partie de la Fédération internationale des Pueri Cantores et qui représente des dizaines de milliers de petits chanteurs. Another important member of the Pueri Cantores is at work in Freiburg in Breisgau, practicing studiously behind these nightly illuminated windows at the Cathedral Square. The cathedral's master of music, Boris Böhmann, instructs weekly the sopranos, the boys who participate with great joy and passion. My first six years I lived in Basel, but I didn't join the choir, but now here I have been accepted last year. Yes, and I enjoy it really. I enjoy it, and I like it very much, these songs and the beautiful melodies. And yet, when we also sing with the men's voices, that's really beautiful. I enjoy it. When I sing, I forget all my troubles and sorrows. I have now been singing for seven years since I was already in the pre-choir. We listen to the crystal clear and gorgeous voices of these boys. But we also learn from Boris Böhmann about the development of alto voices, a speciality of the cathedral chorus in Freiburg. Musikalisch würde ich sagen, ist unser Alleinstellungsmerkmal, dass wir als einziger... In terms of the music, this is our unique feature. We are the only choir in the German-speaking region acting with alto voices. I learned about this scheme during my studies in England. In the history of singing, alto used to be the highest male voice. I established this mull, and now we keep a group of some young men who noticed after their voice had broken that they could keep their alto voices. Vor six Jahren umgestellt. Wir haben also einen Kreis von einigen jungen Männern, die im Stimmbruch schon entdecken, dass ihre Kopfstimme, wenn sie kultiviert wird, gut als Altusstimme funktionieren könnte. If you listen to this alto, tenor and bass voices, 
you can imagine that the experience in a cathedral choir may lead on to a further career in singing. Currently, there are three or four of our members studying at German universities who enjoy the advantage of having had a long experience in the Cathedral Boys Choir with its serious education and training at a high level, an advantage others may not necessarily have. The cathedral music and the practice rooms are based in this former archiepiscopal palace because the school with all the different choirs acts in the service of the church, of the diocese. And moreover, besides the services in the cathedral, we contribute on occasions to larger church services of the diocese. And quite often we participate in events all around Germany and in the whole world acting as ambassadors of our great Freiburg Church. Certainly a good and enduring impression for the Pope at his visit to Freiburg in 2011. But now we attend a common Sunday service of the chapter in the Freiburg Cathedral with the Domsingknaben, Dom Boys Choir.
Here, in the so-called Minster of Her Dear Lady, there was also a joint concert with the three great boy squires from Mulhouse, Freiburg and Basel, a fine symbol for the relatedness in our three countries' corner. A few years ago, there was this joint event, three countries, three concerts in the cathedrals of Basel and Freiburg, and in the Filature, the concert hall of Mulhouse. Indeed. The Knabenkantorei Basel is very much a regional institution. Our singers live in many villages around Basel. For many of them, it's a long way to the weekly instruction. And we also have boys from the German neighborhood in all our classes. The youngest participants start at three years of age, at which time they first come to into contact with music and singing. Here we visit the so-called pre-course, where Mrs. Schönenberger awakens the interest and inspires passion and love for music in a subtle and playful way. Also, ja, es, ich weiß nicht, es gefällt mir einfach so. Also, ich sing gern, also ich habe viel. Well, I just like it. I like to sing. I never could fall asleep without singing alone or listen to a lullaby of my mother. I think I could not live without singing or music. Well, what I like here, the friends singing together, concerts, trips, I have always been singing, at home, falling asleep, wherever I was, I always liked it. Of course, these common camps, trips and journeys leave lasting memories. Who else could tell about a handshake with a Pope when he received a t-shirt of the football club of Basel and a bag of Basel Lackerly? But the main theme remains singing, and for the Knabenkantorei, especially the traditional voices of the boys. Boys choirs have had a great tradition for centuries. In our choir, we have boys at the tender age of 9, 10, 11 years and they sing the great and difficult masterpieces with their puerile, youthful, yet trained, clear and strong boys' voices. This is very, very touching. Boys grow up and become men, and the Knabenkantorei creates professional musicians too. In Basel, for instance, the Glue or Männerstimmen. Well, as for my future, I've just passed a preparatory exam allowing me to go on to further studies. And I intend to study a conservatoire. This is my personal goal. But many others just switch to another choir. But for the moment, there are still active, lovely boys, releasing their energy not only into daily, youthful escapades, 
but also into the power and beauty of the voices. Every Christmas Eve, at the entering of the choir into the Cathedral of Basel, you can feel and experience this fantastic and beautiful attractiveness and fascination of the pure young voices and the high tradition of boys' choirs, especially here in our region.